MTV, she's a loose three team all week. MTV. Oh, this is this is actually a story on me. Oh, I'm going to show you. Check this out. My name. One minute is fine. We're running. All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, I try. I'm Anthony Wykowiak. I'm the MTV Choose or Lose Street Team reporter for Florida. And I'm currently on the floor of the Republican National Convention in St. Paul, Minnesota. The RNC has had so many different things for us to report on that it's kind of overwhelming. I would say that early in the week, I would be in Minneapolis, you know, interviewing somebody like, say, Mike Huckabee. And then I would have to get in a cab, go across town, and interview some filmmakers at a, at a film festival. And then at night, I would go to the Rage Against the Machine show and walk out only to find, uh, you know, a police barricade and people, you know, protesting and causing trouble. Unfortunately, uh, he didn't have time to talk to me. It happens. I did the same thing with uh, Mike Huckabee yesterday. He was doing an interview with some other press. I waited for him to walk by, and actually, he was he was saying to his press guy, he's like, I gotta go to the, gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> so I was like, you know, Mr. Huckabee, I'd like to speak with you. I know you're a little busy right now, but maybe we can catch up later. And he said, sure, sure. So he went and spoke for the one campaign uh, about malaria. And as soon as he walked off stage, I said, you know, Mr. Huckabee, we had arranged an interview. Can I talk to you? And he was like, sure. So we spoke for two or three minutes, walking as he was going to his car. But that's kind of what you have to do, is you just have to go out there and, and get it. I and mean, the worst they can say is no. One of the most important youth-oriented uh, issues that people have been speaking with me about is education. It was kind of funny. Yesterday I spoke with Chris Carter, former wide receiver of the Minnesota Vikings, and, and he brought up just how expensive our education system is. You know, I spoke with a guest of the Florida delegation, and he mentioned education being an important issue, too. I think, you know, a lot of young people go through college, end up with a lot of loans, and find themselves already behind when they're trying to get a job, you know? All the skills that you need to be a good reporter are converging, they're coming together. So you need to be able to shoot and write and act and you know speak well and everything. And then edit it all in the end and put it online because the media are being so um, invaded by this, these really easy technologies. Let me show you something. The street team is shooting with uh, these Nokia N95 cell phones. They upload direct to the web live when we interview people here at the RNC. Four years ago, this was unheard of, okay? They didn't have this. Now it's just like I walk up to somebody, I say it uploads live to the web, and they're like, oh, okay, cool, let's do it. You know, and it's the size of my, the palm of my hand. So the technology is really changing the way that we can do our jobs. I think that's one of the greatest things about the street team is that we've got some really lightweight, really cool equipment that we can use to report on so many different things and just cover such a wide variety of youth issues.